Fantasy Football Euro 2004. Tonight we'll be meeting our old mate Ian Brody and from Blue, Anthony Costa. We'll be recreating a special to World Cup. And we'll be saying a big hello to Francesco Totti. <laughs> Kill time, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought so. But first, a few things we noticed. From... Finish laughing. <laughs> a few things we noticed from watching the tournament so far. Big game tonight. But you know when you're queuing for tickets for a big game, you don't want to leave the queue even to go to the toilet. Yeah. Oh dear. And Eurosport commentator Dave Farrar had high hopes for the post-match party after the Germany Holland game. Another roasting evening. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight we discovered that the Italians are treating shoulder injuries with electric. <laughs> Look at that. That is fancy, isn't it? That works very well. And uh, there was a bit of a mix-up after the Holland-Germany game, actually, when the Japanese bloke they'd asked to present the Man of the Match award to Michael Ballack thought he'd won it himself. <laughs> Aww. Uh, now, normally, we, we would go to Stato at this point and find out what emails we've had in, but to be honest, the general standard, standard of your emails has been essentially this. <laughs> we've had a lot of those, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Is that a belly or a breast? It's hard to tell. Where was that from? again? It's like an inverted nipple look, that could be. <laughs> oh dear. Who's it from? It was from, um, from jo that's John Reed's belly, and he said the picture was sent by his wife, Sally. Lovely. Oh dear, his wife, Sally, has to lift that up every night. What yes. A lovely, um, lovely thought. For, rest it on the shoulder? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's a... <laughs> keep going, Frank. Keep going, Frank. Uh, uh, there was a picture sent in by Jason Morris of Leicester, and he said, I love your show last night. He said, it was a bit chaotic. He said, in the end, the whole family ended up watching it. And there's the... <laughs> <laughs> his shirt... Can we say that again, again a minute? He's, he's, he's got an England shirt on that doll, but it's back to front. Which yeah, actually, actually, actually looks it looks like his bollocks are back to front. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, maybe it's not... You know that the bloke we had on who got David Beckham shaved yeah. in the back of his head? Maybe that's a dog with the back of a dog's head shaved into his face. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the front of the dog. Well, he got very excited by the show, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Um, if you have got anything you do want to send us, though, uh, you should use this website address. Yes, I think that's, that's quite enough. Oh, that looked like an operation to me. It was a very, very <laughs> horrible thing. So, have you got any news for us, Stato? Yeah, there's a, a new... <laughs> Very weak dying statue. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a newspaper interview with Patrick Vieira in which he reveals that he really loves uh, English breakfast. Mm. Apparently, that's why he has the nickname Big Sausage. Is that why? All <laughs> oh, right. I've heard Freddie Lundberg likes a big sausage as well. <laughs> and for breakfast, obviously. Yeah. There was a thing, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but th there was a Brazilian player in the 50s and 60s called Garincha. Do you know him? He's a great player. <laughs> <clears throat> and a guy wrote a book about Garincha, and he claimed that Garincha had a 25-centimetre penis, right? Mm. And uh, silenced the crowd yeah. there as they did the calculation. <laughs> How many inches is that? But it's yeah. big. You'd imagine that getting in the way while you were playing, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, perhaps he was fully erect at all times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the badge slightly lifted. Anyway, <laughs> um, his daughters, he's dead now, but his daughters, they sued the guy who wrote the book because they said they didn't like him saying that about him. I think we've got dad. a picture of him, actually. Haven't we got a picture of him? There he, oh, no, that's, that's that bloke's forearm, I think. That's not actually... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's Garincha on the right. All right. I'm hoping that's his knee. Yeah. In front of him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah, and but, they sued him, and what happened? Yeah, well, this week the, uh, the verdict came, and Judge Joel Wabey Dib oh, yeah. said... Having a big penis is a reason for pride in this country. Size of penis and sexual energy don't walk hand in hand, but Brazilians dream of both. Blimey. What country is it where a little penis is an object of pride, I wonder? Scotland? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you might know off the top of your head. But it's, well, that was Garincha, so 25 centimetre penis. Mm, well done, Garincha. Yes. You're not watching, you're dead. <laughs> And now it's another time, it's, no, and now it's time for another one of Greavesy's Gaffs.
I've seen good times and bad. Mate, am I glad to be brewing up for star names. New York Jewish, London Jewish is where the fun is. It, Tel Aviv Jewish, sorry. Uh, so then they're not Jewish in, in Israel. It's a fun. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that one. <laughs> That's very Just nice. for you. Just that for one, me, eh? I love it. <laughs> so, um, Stato, yeah, I mean, obviously, Wayne Rooney's like the hero of the moment or whatever, but I, I hear yeah. he's sort of been capitalising on that a bit. Well, he's applied to register his signature as a Europe uh, wide trademark, which is quite interesting. He Can he actually write? Well, yeah. that's debatable, but he hopes <laughs> to market underwear, headgear, bags, and even doll houses with his signature on them. Doll's houses? Yeah, doll's house. houses. Doll's houses. <laughs> doll's houses. And I'll tell you what, yeah? it's a bit of a surprise. Really? You know your daughter has got a birthday end of uh, yeah. August. Yes. Yeah, well, I've got her a Wayne Rooney doll's house. You it's one of the first ones. That is very, very I nice I tell you, you'll, you. you'll love this. Oh, <laughs> Lovely. This is Rooney House. This is and uh, little satellite dish. Yes, hello. Yeah. It's just picking up uh, the adult channel, and uh, there's a boarded up flat there. That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, very nice. And um, it comes with some accessories. There's a police car you can get in. If you look, it won't actually go into the estate. You see? <laughs> just, just keep moving away. And there's a there's a skip. Yeah, the skip there. Little lovely detail, skip. That's that actually a bit a bit cheaper if uh, England win Euro 2004. And, uh, and a burnt mattress is a love. That's a burnt lovely mattress. detail. Burnt mattress. Didn't he get sent off the other day? <laughs> I think he did. Yeah. There's even the <laughs> one of the windows opens. Look. <laughs> it's open oh, in there. There's be, graffiti, everything. Violet. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, thank you very I much. I will like that. She will like that. I imagine lovely? she'll grow up very depressed. That'll be that'll be very very nice. Um, so, Stata, what what else have we had? Well, we've had lots of emails about that new series we've been uh, featuring, Greavesy's Gaffs. Yes. Uh, this one, Mark Powell of North London has written in to say, please, please, please play the whole of Jimmy Greaves' rap, not just the tantalising extract we hear on the title graphic for Greavesy's Gaffs. Mm. OK, just for you, Mr Powell. I've seen good times and bad. Mate, am I glad to be brewing up for star names. So if you want to laugh, call it Greaves's Gaff. It's a funny old game. So there it was. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke during the show. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you heard, that was Greaves' uh, rap, and what he talks about there, he says, I've had good times and bad, mate, am I glad to be brewing up for star names. So, basically, Greaves' terrible life was sorted out by making tea, is essentially what he's saying in that I, rap. I think it's a, nice, it's a great song, though. Yeah. Now, speaking of uh, music, you know, sometimes you look at a football pitch and you can see the shadow of the stand on it. Well, when we were watching the England-Switzerland game, I thought the shadow looked like sheet music. You see yeah, that on the top there? it does look a bit like sheet music, you're right. And I just thought, if you played that shadow yeah. from the England-Switzerland uh, game, what tune would it be? Well, it's funny you should ask that, because um, <laughs> I've actually had it made into uh, some sheet music. Can you see this? Yes, yeah. that's there beautiful. You go. There you go. Oh, yes! And, uh, Hold on a minute, let's, let's, got, let's, give, let's give it a bit more perfect. Oh, there you that's go, look. perfect, look at that. OK, yes. and if you play that, it's like... Oh, it's just one note. Yeah, well, that's all right, one Is note, it? I can cope with that. Listen, <clears throat> give me that one note. OK. <clears throat> This is just a little samba built upon a single note. Other notes are bound to follow, but the root is still that note. Now this new one is the consequence of the one they've just been through, as I'm bound to be the unavoidable consequence of you. Thank you very much. You might be thinking, well, that was just shit. Yes. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> when you came out tonight, how many of you thought that you'd hear some people play a tune based on the shadow of a football stand from the England Switzerland game? That's a bit four of a one off. That's incredible. Yeah, four That's four incredible. Well, I wouldn't have yeah, thought that. Yeah, there was Russell Grant, Nostradamus, <laughs> <laughs> Mystic Meg over there. Yeah, yeah. lovely. That's a nice keyboard, by the way. Wanna, uh, yeah, yeah, well, I bought it for a, a children's party, but actually the party didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Mm. <laughs> Any 47-year-old man can play a 19-year-old and it just looks perfect. What are you talking about? I thought that was him. Is that the doorbell? 
Paul got it once as well. Who goes? Me? You go, you go. You go? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where? Who is it? It's Anthony Costa and Ian Brody. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Ian. Hello, Anthony. Nice Thank to have you here. You're right, oh, yeah. So, what do you make of the whole Rooney thing? Because he's kind of exploded the last yeah. 24 hours. No, he has. He's, he's no, he's actually exploded. Has just had a news <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's terrible news. Terrible news. <laughs> Still, you know, he's probably going to be suspended eventually. I suppose, yeah, but yeah. the head looked like it could burst. At <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, what, what do, you do you think? I think he's a great player. Um, you met him, really well. you? you met him. We met him, yeah. He came to one of our gigs and he, and he bless him, he nicked one of our like, buttons, police buttons. Yeah. We used for our show. Yeah, that like, doesn't surprise me that much. Actually. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like where are you going with that? He goes, oh, just, just going to take it, mate. Just going to take like, it? What, just to hit someone with? Don't lie, mate. <laughs> he just took it and left. Oh, that's nice what of him. What do you use police batons for in your show? <laughs> ah, yeah. Good question. Yeah. No, no, we did it. We did so, no, we, no, we did a song. We did a song and it all the, all the dancers were dressed in police. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, and I he see. actually nicked a bat. Yeah, it was actually our last show, so I just, I just. You just gave. That's lovely of you to give yeah. Wayne Rooney a police bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Have you met him? Here? I haven't actually. Because you're a no. Liverpool fan, presumably you're slightly disgruntled about him taking over the Michael Owen thing. No, I think uh, he just looks so strong. He does look great. He's fearless, isn't he? he just gives it a go. Michael hasn't quite found his. No, uh, Michael's been shot. Actually, yeah. is what's, <laughs> what's happened. Uh, I unfortunately, reckon, I reckon Defoe should be on that. In the squad, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, oh yeah. Because at the end of the day, now this is just because you support Spurs, isn't no, it? No, it's not that. Even when at West Ham, you know, he was a goal scorer. Do you know what I mean? He had 15 goals this season. Not being rude to any Liverpool fans, but like, sorry, no, you, Ian, but like Heskey ain't done well this season, you know, and he's, he's in the squad. I don't, I don't get it. Yes. Yeah, I think you're not no. alone in not no, getting I, that. <laughs> <laughs> I think no, it's with Rooney. I don't get that. I went to the Paul McCartney gig and uh, they, they were putting up all these texts on the screen before he came on and somebody said that Wayne Rooney said he'll be a great player as soon as he grows into his face. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's, right. That's very true. There was no it? need for that, I thought. <laughs> he is growing though. Uh, well, he's been all over the papers, hasn't he? Oh, and, yes. Uh, yes. These, these are some of the headlines today. Yeah. Rue results. Yeah, and... Uh, was one of them. This one is uh, over the rune and all that. But there was one earlier on that we saw that we were a bit confused about that we'd like to ask you about. Now, this was just before the tournament, so I don't wonder what you mm -hmm. thought about this. It was the story saying that Michael Owen had said to, um, to Rooney, if you do well in Euro 2004, you'll be like, you'll be a top man. And the headline was King Roon, yeah. right? Now, that sounds like it's a pon. But on what? We <laughs> <laughs> don't know what it's a pun on. Because on know, the same page... The rune, it's clear what that is. Yeah. yeah, on the same page, you've got good night, with the, the Brighton fans will know is when night scored for Brighton. Yeah. Henman's going bald away, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah, great, yeah. But, and then King Rune. Do you have any ideas? Maybe we didn't have enough space for the Y on the page. The it's e an E-Y, actually. It's an E-Y. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to boy bands, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not really famous for their spelling. Yeah, no. no. Really not, I don't know, but, uh, <laughs> any ideas what King Rune might be a pun on? Anyone? King Kong. King Kong. King Kong, that'd be a great pun. That's a very good <laughs> pun, because Rune does What is a Rune? Lot. Is a Rune like a kind of a fortune-telling stone? Thing. What? It's a what druid thing. It is, isn't it? yeah, like yeah, a yeah. druid thing. Is that what it is? is it's, it? a it's a pun on what? that. The sun have made a pun on a King 14th Rune. century stone. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Likely. Maybe some druid lost one of his runes and said, oh God, where's me King Rune? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must be what happened. <laughs> if, uh, if you have any ideas, do send them in. Or in fact, if you think of a pun about anything in the tournament, then send it to us and we'll give you a prize. Right? Yeah, a sort, of a, a sort of a punning headline would yeah. be great. Yeah, but the thing about Rune, I think, is as long as he doesn't get booked, if he gets booked in the next game, he'll be suspended for the quarterfinals. So I think you should just play Vassell and... Defoe, it's what you think, yeah. <laughs> no, no, just Vassell and, and Rooney, I think, next game. Mm. I'll tell you what, what I was wondering about. If, uh, this is a, if a player did a bad thing, say, during a national anthem, hit another player or spat someone, could the referee actually book him, even if the game hadn't started? Well, he would know that. What do you think? Oh, that's a good <laughs> point, actually. I, I, thought thought that. Thought, I know yeah. who would know it. Though. Who would know? Well, the referee of the 1994 League Cup final, Keith Cooper. Are you there, Keith? Keith? I'm here, Frank. Keith, I hear it's your birthday today. Fantastic. We have a great time. It's fantastic. I've got all my friends here, every one of them. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 I'm, 
You got the Kalina in and everything. Yeah, nice cards you've had as well. Lots of cards. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that right then, Keith? If, what would happen if a player misbehaves in the national anthem? Well, your jurisdiction starts, David, uh, uh, when you get to the ground and ends when you leave the ground. In fact, I remember a referee booking a player in the, in the car park, would you believe? In the car park? In the car park. Was it Stan Collymore? <laughs> 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 Oh, That's dear. true, though. So you could book a player during the national anthems in the tunnel, whatever. Whatever. Mm, That's incredible. Keith, Keith Cooper. Cooper, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, we have to ask you, as you're both musicians, what do, what do you think of All Together now, the, the song? I don't, I, I don't know. It's not amazing. Not like your song. Well, no, I agree with that. You, didn't you write uh, a football song? The, the, the Blazing Squad thing? Yeah, Blazing Squad. We're gonna do. <laughs> yeah. uh, obviously, Is that you have to say it? The Blading Squad, isn't it? Yeah. The Blading Squad. From like ethics. Nah, um, yeah, I wrote a song. You said it's so Jewish <laughs> when <laughs> you did it. I just did it. Blading <laughs> Squad, my day. Blading, Blading oh. Squad. Oh, yeah. oh. 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 oh my oh, God. The Blading Squad, how much are they worth? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're worth a lot. So you, you wrote. Yeah, I wrote a song, because um, apparently they were gonna. It was there up for. Uh, they was gonna be up for doing what the. Was, uh, what song was it? it? I wrote a song called Sven's Army. Based on Volare, was that right? That's it, yeah, it sort of but changed the notes a little bit. And so it goes, Sven's army, whoa. whoa. Sven's, come on. Sven's, yeah, no, no. Sven's oh. leggy. <laughs> oh, you see, could have been a big hit. <laughs> could have been, but, well, exactly, but you remember them sort of songs, do you know what I mean? We're all together now. Well, it's a very original idea by the FL, though it does remind me a bit, just slightly, of the Everton FA Cup song in 1995. Where's that? Just a little bit. <laughs> Second well, yeah. hand. Yeah. yeah, we've second hand cast off of, of Paul Ablett. That's what I'm I'll worried about. Though, Gary Ian, Ablett. Ian, you know that your life for Riley used to be used on um, sure. top on uh, match, match of the, of the day, day all the time. Have a little bit of little bit of life for Riley. Yeah. Well, you find that sometimes when they use when they yes, you can yes, stop all now. Right. When they <laughs> use <laughs> backing, <laughs> when they use backing music on sports programs, so you find that sometimes it's not entirely appropriate. I do find that. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Ah. It's Phoenix from the Flame! <laughs> it's Phoenix from the Flame! Flames, Phoenix from the Flames, Phoenix! Now, Jimmy. We're here to recreate that. Hold on. Before you go on, don't think I don't know that this programme has been taking the mick out of me for years. <laughs> so, who's <who's> it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Jimmy, that was just an affectionate tribute. Affectionate? You had me being sodomised by a horse. <laughs> <laughs> horse? <laughs> Talking about. <laughs> the point is, I'm only doing this show to redress the balance. We'd better be recreating an incident which shows me at my best. Quick. Yeah. Fearless? Yeah. Dogged. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Gently. Gently. Well held. Jimmy, come back. Oh, we'll do anything. You can do anything you like. Well, there is one thing. I've seen good times. <laughs> Mate, am I glad to be brewing up for Star Names. So if you want to laugh, call round to Greaves' game. It's a funny old game. So let's hear it out loud for the faces in the crowd, cos it's a funny... It's a funny old game. <laughs> so, Jimmy, it's the quarter-final of the 1962 World Cup, England versus Brazil. Just five minutes into the game. Now, Ron Springett's going to try and catch it, but the way he was playing, he was never going to catch anything anyway. <laughs> 
than Garincha, as you can see. And if you could have beaten Garincha in that World Cup, you must be a good player. Now I decided to have a go, because I'm a doggy man. And I crept up to it, and the dog trusted me, believe it or not. But the worst thing there was, as you could see, I was wringing my hands. The dog had pissed all down the road. <laughs> Anyway, Garincha, who was Brazil's star player at the time, thought it was so hilarious that the dog pissed on me, he kept it as a pet. Hey, Jimmy, I bet that wasn't the last time you went home smelling of piss. <laughs> Canine friend moves past Garincha. Hey, Jimmy, I bet this wasn't the last time you went home on your hands and knees. Come on, carry on. Chances against Croatia very quickly. 2-1 England. Yeah. What do you think? Just win. <laughs> oh, blimey, that's the, the doorbell already. Do you think we could win it, though, really, the whole thing? Why not? I imagine so. It's no, Paul, says Anthony. Who is it? It's Paul, it's Paul Reedy. Paul Reedy. Paul. <laughs> Paul, have you come as... Hold on. <laughs> hey, wait, hold on. Have you come as... Have you come as big sausage? I'm sure I'll pass the game with Say 